Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you're dropping a like as well. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys how to get aimbot inside of Modern Warfare. Yes, my secret's out. I have aimbot. I'm going to show you guys how to have aimbot inside of Modern Warfare. Honestly, it's insane. I can't believe it's literally you don't get banned for it either. It's honestly insane. It, it's so simple as well. Unfortunately, it does cost you a little bit of money, but it's well worth it for how, you know, the aim, but obviously you don't miss a single bullet. Now, I'm just trolling. If you click on this video to see if there is an actual aimbot, then screw you guys. Get off the video right now. You absolute trash players. Don't ever talk to me again. <laughs> but I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to improve your aim so, so drastically. And yes, unfortunately, this method does also include a little bit of money as well if you guys have it available. Or you put it on your Christmas list. You know, Christmas is right around the corner, birthdays, all that kind of things. They're not expensive. And that is going to be... You guys probably seen them, they went viral when they first came released. It was it's the Control Freak Precision Rings. Basically, the theory behind them, they add a little bit of restriction, or not even a little bit, quite a lot of restriction to your analog stick on your controller. Uh, paired up with an actual Control Freak, uh, control freak, what am I, freak, what am I on about? Um, they actually work an absolute treat. Uh, they still will work perfectly fine without you know the actual Control Freaks, so don't worry about that. Uh, when I first heard about these things and it said they add restriction to your analog stick, at first I just thought, well, that is a complete waste of money. What a pointless idea. Just turn your sensitivity down if you're struggling to aim. That's the whole I thought, you know. And this this applies for all first-person shooters, by, bearing in mind. Um, but no, that is not the case at all. Honestly, it's insane. It will honestly make your aim so much better, and here is why. So you put the control freak on the precision ring on your controller, only on the right hand stick. You don't need it on the left hand stick. It's literally pointless and will just, you know, make the game harder to play that way. Um, so, and you need to crank your sensitivity up. Crank it up to experiment, but crank it up quite a lot from what you usually would play on. I was playing on my sixth sense at first when I first got these, and man, it was horrible. I thought they was absolutely awful. But once I figured this out, honestly, they work so, so well. So the theory here is, and what they actually do is, right? I'm playing on 11 sensitivity, so pretty high. My movement running around the map and looking left to right as I'm just, you know, running around is perfect. It feels, doesn't feel like 11 sensitivity at all. It feels like my 6 sensitivity, alright? It feels nice. Uh, and when I ADS, that is when my sensitivity literally drops drastically. It's like my sensitivity is literally on 0 0.5. So if you imagine you've got an awful aim, you're aiming at someone and because you've got not got a restriction on your analog stick uh, and you've got a, you want to run a high sensitivity basically to move around the map quicker, it makes your movement feel quicker and all this. And then your aim's flicking from side to side, side to side, you know, you're missing loads of shots. I've seen it many times before, I've been this person before. Uh, this completely eliminates that issue. The only thing, the only problem to these, which will take you a while to master and why you have to get used to them, uh, if you play Call of Duty regularly, you probably might be pretty good at this skill already, and that is centering. So basically, before you actually aim in on who you're trying to shoot at, uh, you're not actually ADSing. You want to get the crosshairs whilst you're, like, hip firing on you know the enemy first and then ads or if you don't do this it's gonna you know really really struggle for you because if you ads then try and move on to your, uh, the enemy that that way uh, it's gonna you, you're not gonna be not gonna do well so you want to get this skill down basically running around the map put your enemy in the middle of your crosshairs first and then ads this is how i play call of duty this is how the pro players call it play call of duty it is even if you don't have the precision rings it's a insane way to improve your aim anyway um so as you're running around the map normally, the sensitivity is fine, there's no restrictions, and as soon as you ADS, you are locked. You, it's literally so difficult to move the analog stick at this point. Bearing in mind the ADS is slow drastically when you ADS anyway without these, and the added restriction literally makes it solid. Uh, as you can see in this gameplay right now, as soon as I aim, my aim doesn't move. Yet it can be an issue if your centering is slightly off. That is where issues can come in. I have died a few times this way. But it's just getting used to it still, you know. Um, I'm sure after a couple more days using this, I'll probably be able to eliminate that. And maybe just experiment with my sensitivity a little bit more. Uh, it's definitely an experimental thing. And definitely getting used to it takes a while. I think they're around $10 to buy. Which isn't that pricey at all. Uh, if you might see me think it seems a novelty at first but they do get time to get used to i mean even a scuff controller when i first got my scuff controller i didn't like it at all it took me ages to get used to it and now i'm you know used to it uh, i'm a way better player with it and i don't think i could ever go back to using a standard ps4 controller 
I think I would struggle massively without having the paddles on the back. And it's the same sort of concept here uh, with the precision rings. Yeah, it's going to take time to get used to it. But once you are, you're going to be a different beast. Honestly, it will absolutely change your aim drastically. I'm not sure how they'll work for sniping. If you guys are a sniper, uh, they might not be the best. But then again, if you're a quick scoper, you're going to be pretty much perfect at centering. So they might end up uh, you know, helping you out massively there. It's one of those things I don't know on that front. But in terms of normal red gunning, which the majority of players do do, these will help massively. Literally turn any gun into a laser beam, improve your recoil control drastically as well. You'll be able to control the recoil for any all the weapons, you know, way better and easier. And this isn't a sponsored thing before we you know, go any further. Uh, I don't, I'm not sponsored by Control Freak or anything like this. I literally bought them for the pure sake of, you know, the pure experimental. Uh, I just wanted to see for myself. There was so much hype behind them and I thought it was a novelty. I thought it was pointless. Uh, like I said at the start, just turn down your sensitivity, you know. Um, but yeah, honestly, insane. They definitely, definitely, you know, make my aim feel ten times better. And... Like I said, paired with a regular control freak as well, like an elevated stick as well, just make it so much more smoother and definitely, uh, while zipping around the map, make it feel a lot nicer. And while ADSing, I have way more control, which is something I've recently gotten into as well. I've only just managed to get myself a pair of control freaks all this time. Every single gameplay before this video was a, um, you know, I just played with the regular scuff analog sticks. And that's the reason I got them, because my scuff analog sticks were beat. Oh, honestly, you can see the plastic through them. Uh, there was absolutely ruined, to be fair. You know, many, many, many hours of obviously gaming has been put into them. So I purchased the control freak, see how they, you know, how they go. Hopefully, I'll be able to use them on my PS5 as well. We'll see. Uh, but honestly, I would highly recommend these products if you're thinking about it, if you're debating getting them. Uh, but like I said, if you have clicked on this video and you're considering getting the aimbot, don't bother, man. Just learn how to aim. Use their precision rings if you're struggling. Definitely will improve your aim very, very well. If you're a very good player, it'll make it even better. It's just one of those things. Just give it some... T Honestly, I, don't, I can't even emphasize, this, emphasize it enough. It's insane how much my aim has improved. And the fact that once you get used to them, you can figure out how you can, you know, how to move the stick. It's almost like relearning a sensitivity, if you will. Uh, knowing how it works. It's kind of strange. But on that front, guys, hopefully, guys, if, this, if you were struggling to make a decision on the precision rings or whatever... Hopefully this guy's helped you out. Uh, if not, uh, it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed the video either way. Definitely a great product from Control Freaks. But apart from that, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you do smash that like button. Make sure you smash that subscribe button as well. To stay up to date with any Call of Duty news, tips and tricks, gameplays, all that good stuff. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them, there in the description below. But apart from that, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.